Passport's time and duration module allows you to set up hourly bill rates as well as overtime rates for all your assets, as well as categories of assets or individual assets. To begin, you'll first need to be logged in as an administrator. Once you're logged in as an administrator, you can either click on the admin ribbon at the top and then go to system configuration, or you can click on the admin folder in the folder tree and select system configuration from there or you can click on the admin icon located in the life cycle and choose system configuration from there. Once in the system configuration section at that point simply click the duration settings tab at the top and here's where you'll be able to configure the time and duration module. You'll begin in the general section on the left and you'll first put in both the standard hourly rate as well as the overtime rate. Next you'll specify the number of days in your week and the number of hours in your workday. Next, you'll specify the billing increment section at the top here. For example, selecting a billing increment of one minute will divide the standard hourly rate by 60 minutes, which would be one dollar per minute for this billing rate. However, you may not be billing in increments of one minute. You may be billing in increments of perhaps 15 minutes, which at that point would take the 60 for the standard hourly rate and divide it by four so you'd be billing fifteen dollars at the beginning of every fifteen minutes. Another example may be that you might not be billing in increments every minute however you might be using every hour as your billing increment. If this was the case then at the beginning of each hour the standard hourly rate of sixty dollars an hour that we have here would bill. Additionally you can also bill in increments of days which means that the standard hourly rate would be multiplied by the number of hours in the day or billed in increments of weeks depending on how you want to bill for the equipment or assets. And finally for the overtime starts after section here if we go back to our first example where we're billing per minute and let's say we want to start overtime after eight hours we would simply put in 480 minutes since that would be equal to 8 hours and at that time the overtime hourly rate would then kick in. However if you're billing in increments of every hour then at that point you may put 8 hours as opposed to 480 minutes which would mean that once the ninth hour started again the overtime hourly rate would then kick in again. Finally, once you have all of the attributes set for the general section on the left, simply click the save button in the top right and say yes to saving the new settings. Once you've saved all the information for the general section which encompasses all of your assets, at that point you can begin to assign a different standard hourly rate and overtime hourly rate to different categories of assets that you might have. You'll simply either type it into the menu here and select it while it auto populates or click on the drop down menu and select it from there. Or you can add additional categories by clicking the green and white plus button, adding the new category and then clicking save. Or search through a list of categories by clicking the magnifying glass, find the one that you'll need and then choosing the select and return button. Next, specify both the hourly and overtime rate. And once you have both the hourly rate and the hourly overtime rate, at that point you can add additional categories by again selecting them from the drop down, typing them in, adding additional ones, or searching through a list. Again, once you've selected the category, specify the standard hourly rate and the overtime hourly rate. And again, once you have that information in there, simply click save and say yes to saving the new settings. To specify a standard hourly rate and an overtime hourly rate for an individual asset you can do this when you first create this asset and add it into the system. Simply click the time rate tab and at that point specify both the standard hourly rate and the overtime hourly rate. Once you have the standard hourly rate and the overtime hourly rate at that point you'll decide on the billing increments in this case, we'll again, we'll bill in one minute increments so that this $18 will be divided by 60 minutes. Again, specify when the overtime rate starts 
So if that's something like 8 hours, you would specify 480 minutes. Once you have the time and rate set up on the time and rate tab, simply click save. And now that new information has been added into the database.